Woo! We got a lot to talk about today. It's not all gonna be about Draymond Green and Jordan Poole, the drama. I have some other things I'm gonna talk about. I'm in an NFL survivor pool. I'm gonna give an update on that. And then also um, gonna give an update on some of the plans that I have for the channel coming up. So stay tuned and stay stay in there with me here. All right, so all right, so let me just kind of give a little recap on this Jordan Poole, Draymond Green thing. When I first heard about it, you know, I looked around, I read some articles, um, and honestly, I didn't. I was shocked. I, I was I was shocked. I was just like, why would you punch your own teammate? You guys just won the championship. Chemistry is important in the NBA. Why would you do this? And some of the speculation was like, oh, well, you know, Jordan Poole is about to get this big contract and and he's he might be acting a little bit out of the ordinary. Well, how, what, what would you act like? I mean, how would you act? I mean, if you were going to start getting, I don't know, what is it, 20 million? I know the contract. I don't think the contract is decided, but they're saying he could be getting somewhere around 20 million a year. I don't know, for four years. I'm over here looking at gas prices. I mean, I can't. So what am I? What am I trying to say here? I can't relate to that. I don't know if someone handed me, you know, hey, seat up. You're gonna get a contract and you're gonna get twenty million a year. I probably would just pass out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, you know, because I'm over here looking at like which rice should I buy? How much? per the pound of the price and how much is it going to be for the unit price? I mean, I'm sure when you make 20 million, you're not really looking at gas prices. Okay. Anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I looked at a couple other videos, you know, and you know, I watched Undisputed and Shannon Sharp said, you know, skip, skip, Draymond, Draymond is like medicine. You don't really like it. You don't really like it, but it but it gonna make you feel better. I'm sorry, but I don't think Jordan Poole felt better because I saw the video. I saw the video. It it got leaked. Oh my gosh, it got leaked. And that's the other thing. When I first heard about this, one of the thoughts I had was like, okay, is this another Will Smith and Chris Rock situation? Because I don't know if that was ever real. I don't know if that was. <laughs> I I I, I want to lean towards that was staged. I mean. But when I saw the video of Draymond and Jordan Poole, Draymond kind of stepped up to him. Jordan Poole was like, man, get back, back up off me, player. You know, and then Draymond went, he went, he went in there, man. It was like, it was a, it was a direct hit. And I, I don't think he felt better. I don't think he felt like, oh, I'm going to get over this flu now. I feel so much better. You know, when you throw up and you're sick and you feel better. Nah, man, I think he felt immediately worse. Now, here's the other thing is like in any other normal situation, if you're working in the office, you know, and Bob from accounting comes over here and he's like, hey, man, I don't like the way that you stapled up these spreadsheets on this report that was due and just knocks me out. You know, if he knocks me out, especially if it was like a punch like that. I'm suing everybody. I'm suing everybody. I mean, I'm calling 911. I'm calling 411. I mean, come on, man. And then and the Warriors are just like, it was a small scuffle. We had a little disagreement. And then people want to bring up uh, old stuff like, you know, back in the day, Jordan punched Steve Kerr in practice. What does that really have to do with this? I mean, I'm, I understand the point is like, oh, it's competitiveness. It's this, it's that. And to be honest, I'm just a regular Joe here. And I don't know what it's like to be on an NBA team. Maybe you know. Maybe you know what it's like if you're watching this. I mean, I understand that at high levels of competition, things can get heated. And it's not normal. It's not what am I trying to say here? It doesn't really translate to like the day-to-day -day things, you know? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't. I can't see why Draymond would punch him like that unless he just lost his cool. I know he's known for being emotional, letting his emotions get the best of him, but I don't know, man. I think you got to be a little bit more responsible than that. Um, I, I don't feel like, I, I don't think it was warranted. I don't think it was warranted. I mean, 
I don't even know what, what else to say here, to be honest. I really don't know what else to say. If you guys are still watching and you're in the comments, say something like, we got your back, C-Dub. But anyway, so let me go ahead and talk to, talk about this. Week four, I'm going to do a little week four. I'm in the NFL Survivor Pool. I had the Vikings. They were playing the Saints. And on the schedule, on the schedule, this was saying Vikings at Saints. So that means they're playing in Louisiana, New Orleans. No, no, they played in London. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. Made it made, made a whole lot of sense. I looked it up. It was like Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What is that? How is that a home game for the Saints? But anyways, that doesn't matter. The long and short of it is I had the Vikings to get the win and they got the win. So I'm in a little win streak here. I'm actually in second place in the pool. So hopefully I can get another win next week. Guess who I got? I got Kansas City. Guess who they're playing? The Raiders. So I don't know. Me and Pops, we may not be able to see eye to eye on that one. You know, he, I know he's a big, huge Raiders fan. Um, you guys may have noticed that. So next week, week five, I got Kansas City. I'm hoping that they get a win. I'll get another win. I'll get another point, And I'll get another extra point because if I get a streak, if every game that you have on your streak, uh, you get a point for that. So come on. All right. So here's a couple other updates on the channel. I've been actually looking at um, trying to do some selling of cards because, well, you can't really you can't really see them from your viewpoint, but there's cards all around here, all around here. I'm gonna try to see if I can sell them. I mean, why not fund the hobby? I just told you I'm over here looking at you know the price of beans, you know the price of gas, you know might as well might as well sell some of these cards to help me pay for some gas so I could use the gas to go do some more card hunting. I mean, that makes sense, right? I mean, you gotta get your priorities straight sometimes in life. You can't just let life take you, you know, on a roller coaster. You gotta, you gotta command it. You gotta get in control of your priorities, if you know what I mean. I wanna try it. Now, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys joined any whatnot streams? You know, I'm, I'm thinking about starting some cards at like a dollar. Um, we can, it's a, it's all live stream. So it's just fun hangout time. Come on, hang out with C-Dub. I'm gonna sell some cards and give it a shot. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be sending out more information um, or I'll be posting more information about that. So if you guys ever wanna join one of those whatnot streams, you'll have all the information to join it. All right, so next week I have a plan. I'm gonna be doing another interview coming up. Um, it's gonna be with Mark from Ultimate Pastime. Mark is a great guy in the hobby. He's in the California area. Uh, man, he's been doing this for, I don't know, 30, 40 years, maybe 30 years. He started when he was like 15, maybe 14. But I'm just looking forward to the interview. Hope you guys can tune in for that. That's gonna be next Tuesday, 8 p.m. PST. All right, let me know what you guys think about this video. Man, if you have any comments, let me know what you guys think, whether it's about the NFL survivor pool, the plans to do whatnot, or the Draymond and Jordan pool, the punch heard around the world. Seat up out.